Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the trigonometric functions at angles that lie on the axes. So first, let's talk about what these angles are referring to. So we're going to use the unit circle as our guide. And we're going to talk about the point here, which on the unit circle would be 1, 0. And we're going to talk about this point here, which is 0, 1. And we're going to talk about this one here, which is negative 1, 0. And lastly, this one down here at 0, negative 1. So these are the ones that lie on the axes. We have the positive x-axis, the positive y-axis, the negative x-axis, and the negative y-axis. What are the different sine, cosine, and tangent values of those four uh, angles? So remember how we determine these. So how do we figure out what sine of theta is? That's going to be equal to the y-coordinate of any given point on the unit circle. And x of the, sine of, cosine of theta will be x, and tangent will be the ratio of y over x. So if we start with uh, 0 degrees or 0 pi, which would just be 0, I suppose. I didn't actually need the pi. What's the y coordinate? That would be 0. We'll just go down here. We'll finish the 0 degrees. And what's cosine of 0? That would be equal to the x coordinate, which would be 1. Tangent would be the ratio of y over x, or sine over cosine, so that would be 0 over 1, which is 0. Moving up here to 90 degrees, so if we have an angle that terminates at 90 degrees, uh, what would be the three trig functions? So what's sine of 90 degrees or sine of pi over 2? That's going to be equal to the y-coordinate 1. Cosine of 90 degrees will be equivalent to the x-coordinate, which is 0. And tangent will be y over x, or it will be sine over cosine. Um, 1 over 0 is undefined, right? We can't divide by 0, so we say it's undefined. So there's no tangent at 90 degrees. All right, how about 180 degrees? So 180, we're doing a a semicircle. Uh, let's see. Sine of 180 degrees will be the y coordinate 0. Cosine will be the x coordinate negative 1. 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. And last but not least, if we're going to do a 270 here, uh, sine of 270, that's the y coordinate negative 1. Cosine of 270 is the x coordinate 0. And tangent negative 1 over 0, nope, not a thing, so it's undefined. So these are just some special. Uh, angles that we sometimes overlook, but it's good to know them as well. Let's look at, look at some examples of applying this table. So we're going to use the table, we're going to recreate the table, we're going to test your memory here. Use the table of angles on the, ax, on the axes right, to find the exact values. So do you remember what sine of 0 degrees was? Sine of 0 was 0, cosine of 0 was 1, and tangent is 0. Sine of 90 degrees is 1, cosine is 0, and tangent is undefined. Sine of 180 degrees is 0, cosine is negative 1, tangent is 0. And sine of 270 degrees is negative 1, cosine is 0, and tangent is undefined. So good just to practice that again. Now let's get to these four examples. Secant of pi. So secant, that is the reciprocal of cosines. We're going to look at cosine here to figure out secant of pi. Pi is right here, this column, it's negative 1, so it would be the reciprocal of negative 1, which would be negative 1. So secant of pi is negative 1. How about cosine of negative pi over 2? So negative pi over 2, where do we find that? That's if we go 90 degrees clockwise, that's going to actually put us here. It's going to be equivalent, or what we're looking at is 0, negative 1, so it's going to be equivalent to 270 degrees. So we're at cosine still, cosine of 270 will be 0 degrees. 0 degrees, 0, so we would have 0 for cosine of negative pi over 2. How about cotangent of 0? So cotangent, the reciprocal of tangent. I'm going to erase my work here because we're done with cosine, I think. All right, so we're looking at tangent, and we're looking at 0. What's the reciprocal of 0? That would be 1 over 0. That's not a thing. So cotangent of 0 is undefined. And last but not least, cosecant of negative 3 pi over 2. So cosecant of, it's not letting me erase down there, there it is. Negative 3 pi over 2, that would be going counterclockwise to 3 pi over 2, which actually puts us up here. This would be corresponding to 0, 1. Uh, this is cosecant, so sine at, this is 90 degrees, is 1, and the reciprocal of 1 is 1. This has been a lesson at looking at the angles on the axes. Thank you for stopping by.